Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Benovich here. We're talking about the chance for some storms tomorrow, though I think the chance overall is pretty small, and I'm going to highlight the areas that there might be a chance for strong, strong storms, but the majority of you are not going to see strong storms on Thursday. Let's get right to the details. We've got a pretty massive low pressure system to our south. We call this a meso low because it's a low pressure system that was formed by thunderstorms, and it's producing a lot of wind on the backside. It's an, an event called a wake low. You don't need to know all the your parameters for it, but basically when these thunderstorms lift a lot of air, sometimes on the backside, that air comes down. So out here, we're seeing a lot of wind damage um, from straight line winds outside of thunderstorms, even under clear skies but the bulk of this severe weather staying to the south and that's kind of key because this is pushing in this direction and as long as it does that continues to push in this direction it's not going to allow for the let's say juicier air to get north so I expect just scattered showers in the morning now wave two is back here but this is going up into the Great Lakes so the in-between of these systems is what we're going to see tomorrow and that's kind of why there's a big question mark on whether we're going to see much severe weather at all let's look at the severe weather outlook tonight really confined to the Gulf Coast. We'll go to tomorrow because it's really interesting to see how this kind of becomes a system where it kind of diverges around the Carolinas. You can see there's a threat up in the Midwest in the Ohio Valley and then one down to our south. That's because basically the two systems you're looking at tonight, the one to our south is going to stay down here. The other one is going to move up here and we're kind of left with what's going to be in between. So it's a low risk for severe storms tomorrow. Now, when we look at our threat matrix, I show this often to kind of show you what we're thinking about right now. And right now, the primary concern is going to be probably one or two isolated storms. And we've got a pretty high confidence that the impacts overall will be low. The only problem is it's not zero. And we call these non-zero threats. And so it's not a non-threat, but it's also pretty low. So on a scale from you know one to five, five being the worst threat for severe weather, we're kind of a 0.5 tomorrow, if, if that makes sense to you. And so that's what we're kind of looking at. And I'll show you some of the ingredients we have in place. Uh, definitely high winds are possible because here's the thing. Tomorrow, we're going to have really strong winds even outside of the thunderstorms because the front has a lot of wind. There's a lot of wind energy with this low. So even if we don't see any rain or thunderstorm act activity in your neighborhood, it's still going to be a really windy day, windy night, and then windy on Friday. So the wind's here regardless of whether we get rain or not. So let's look at the system. We're going to start kind of with the wide view here first. Um, and I'll move my head back up here. So you can see the system to our south. There it is. You know, this is the mess ongoing right now. Here's the main low, which is going to track up in this direction. And I want you to watch what happens here as we go through time. You see the storms off to our south trying to push north. You look carefully. There's a couple storms in the mountains, some big storms here, which again, this is blocking the real big storms from getting north. So in between, there's just not a lot going on. Now watch the watch back in here, because this is, I mean, tornado chasers will be all over this tomorrow in Ohio. Because as this moves north, look at this line that develops uh, up in eastern Kentucky, Ohio, right in there. That's why you're seeing that heightened risk. For us, we will see storms try to form along this front, but the question is how quickly they form. It might not be until later in the day. And you can see maybe out in here, maybe towards the triad and the triangle up into Virginia, this would be an area I would watch in particular um, late tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then the, the double barrel cold fronts move through and it just gets really, really windy on the back side of this. So what is this gonna look like? We'll look at the short range rapid refresh model here. And this is the latest one just came in tonight. You can see the rain overnight, not much of it in the morning not so bad it's really backed off the morning rain so thought we'd have some wet rain or wet conditions in the morning certainly gonna be soggy but you don't see widespread downpours watch as we go through the morning hours to about 10 scattered showers develop but look at all the clouds out there so the atmosphere is pretty stable we're not seeing a ton of storms develop here as we get to about lunchtime you'll notice the sun trying to break out down here scattered storms here again nothing off the charts here but then we go into the afternoon the sun comes out okay so this is about three o'clock. It gets really warm. We could jump into the mid and upper 70s. I want you to watch this line and this line here for possible development in the afternoon. You see that line kind of forming by five, six o'clock, starts to push east, and then by seven o'clock, which is right before sunset, this is the line to keep an eye on tomorrow afternoon and evening, seven o'clock, because the sun will be out for a couple hours. There will be some instability. So maybe not as much of a threat here, but I would say from Greensboro to Rockingham, this will be the area we'll have to watch tomorrow evening. Is that, that, that's, that's probably going to be some small supercells, possibly some hailers, and couldn't rule out a tornado in there, but some hail and wind for sure 
with that little line right there. So if I were to be <coughs> watching for severe weather tomorrow, this is the area I'm gonna watch and it's gonna be briefly there in the evening. You can see as we go past that time frame, everything moves out and then just gets windy uh, throughout the afternoon. So let's break down the timing tomorrow and impacts. This is based on right now, again, not an overwhelming threat for severe weather tomorrow, but enough of one that I want you to just keep a heads up, especially if you live north and east of Charlotte, up towards Greensboro, Ashboro, Southern Pines area. And again, uh, that time frame is gonna be here. Mostly low threats, high winds, but there is, if I were to pinpoint maybe a little bit of a percentage of a tornado, it would probably be with that line we saw off to the northeast. Of course, I'll post an update tomorrow morning um, if things should change, but right now, this is an overall pretty low threat for severe storms tomorrow, but definitely something we'll keep an eye on late tomorrow afternoon and evening, especially if we get a lot of sunshine by mid to late afternoon.